I like cooking a no, lot. No, you love eating way no, more no, no, than you like two... cooking. soulmates and food lovers and welcome to another episode of Eileen's Kitchen Stories and this is the last episode that we gonna shoot in this amazing and beautiful kitchen so a shout out to Ready Küchen Berlin that always had me here and that was super open about me cooking in this beautiful scenery right here and yeah everything's going to change as you might have seen from the previous video watch that one you will know we will be going on a world trip and this crazy man behind me is actually joining me today for a video. He's usually the cameraman. Hello. This is my boyfriend, this is Jörg, and we will be making a very traditional, yeah, German dish from the German Democratic Republic. Senfsoße mit Eier. Mustard sauce with eggs. Exactly. So we have boiled eggs, we have a nice mustard sauce and some, yeah, potatoes with it. So it's going to be very delicious. Yeah. What do you think? Shall we start right in? For the recipe, we will need some butter. We'll need flour, then in here I have some cream, we will need milk, then obviously we will need mustard, very important, vegetable stock. In here we have a little bit of vinegar essence, this is really strong so you don't need much, a pinch of sugar, salt and pepper to season everything. Then this is completely optional, fried onions which we're gonna put in our mashed potatoes later on. And then we have the most important component, the eggs. So guys, now that you've seen everything that's going to get into this recipe, um, I'll let him take over because he's going to be the chef for today because it's his recipe and the only recipe that he loves to do at home. So that's exactly why he's going to take over today. That's not the only one, but uh, that's my lovely. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, we're gonna kick this one off. I guess first we will need to cook our potatoes, which we have in here. First we need here. to cook the potatoes. All right, yeah, Let me sorry. tell you this as, a, as the chef now. Okay, yeah, yeah. go on then, so, go on. at first we need to cook the potatoes, like these. Next thing is you take the butter, put it into the hot pan. When the butter is melting, you add the flour to it, so that this uh, combines. What is the word for it? Roux, you make a roux. A roux. A roux. A roux. A roux. <laughs> make a roux. Okay, so now that the butter is melting, we add the flour. While stirring. And not everything at once, but step by step. Okay, you stir until it has a thick consistency and it becomes like golden brown. The next step is to warm up the milk. Make it just a little bit warm. You can use a microwave, I, I always use it. We don't have one here, so we're going to heat it up in a pot. Yeah, it's really difficult to cook in another kitchen. At home it's easier. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, now you see how it is for me. We have a very old stove at home, like really, really, really old. old. Now you have to be very careful because it burns really quick, really fast, quick fast. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I put the vegetable stock in here? Yes. You combine the milk and the vegetable stock together. Fine. Now you can add both to this. Now you see it's thickening up. Okay, first step, the base, the ground sauce is ready. Now we add all the other ingredients like the mustard. And the thing is, with the mustard, you have to taste a lot. The sugar as well. The vinegar, very important, make it very carefully, very carefully. Because this especially is an essence. It's not only, it's not just yeah. a regular vinegar, it's yeah. like much stronger than a it regular has, vinegar. So it has 25% of, of acid, that's why it's in vinegar essence. Yeah? <laughs> so be very careful. Next one is uh, a pinch of salt. Can I use your hand? Yes, you can. Thank you. You do a lot of salt in your hand and now you take just a pinch of the salt, put this away. This is such a waste. It's not a waste, it's, it's, it's delicious. We do the same thing with pepper. Honey, you can just use one. No. Okay. No. That's not the recipe. Not the Trust recipe. me, it's not the recipe. Now we take here again, just a pinch, and now we stir it once again. I can see that I need more mustard. 
I can see it because the color of this is not ready. It's not. It's not. It's not yellow enough. This is a very special mustard. Oh yes. This is German mustard. And <laughs> when we have been to Argentina, yeah, uh, in, because in, I lived in Argentina for one year, I tried to do the whole recipe again, and it was so hard. It was a totally different taste because they don't have the mustard we use here. If you have this one, you're the lucky guy. I might as well put a link down in the description box if it is available online. Mm -hmm. How is it, honey? It has a good taste. It's too thick. Yeah, but you're right. It's way too thick. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's more like a pudding. It's normal. Now. It's normal. Not like a salt. It's totally normal. So guys, the water for the eggs is almost boiling, so we can put them in. Yeah, put them always with a spoon, otherwise they will break. Six minutes. Yeah. There we go. These are large. These eggs. are large eggs, mm -hmm. not medium eggs. Take the cream now and put everything in. Sauce looks way better. Salt is good. Pepper is good. Sugar is good. Yolk is good. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I personally love it to be a little less creamy, as in a little bit more liquidy. I think there is still some liquid missing. No, 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 no. no. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's your recipe, anyways. Okay. If you want it a little bit more creamy, then you can add some more milk. And more liquidy. And not, it's not milk, it's uh, cream. <laughs> it's cream. Guys, by the way, a lot of people serve these kinds of mustard eggs with just normally boiled salty potatoes. I'd like some more uh, mustard eggs. <laughs> yeah. He loves to have mashed potatoes with it because we can then put in the fried onions. In my family, we do it a bit differently, but since we are a new family, I adjusted to his recipe. This is my recipe. <laughs> That's your recipe. <laughs> we didn't cheers. <laughs> now it has to boil a couple minutes. But you have to stir it all the way, all the way, all the way. Otherwise it would burn and we don't want burnt food. The thing is when we came together five and a half years ago, I was the one who was cooking for everyone and so on. And then she decided to make the kitchen her own. Yeah, yeah right, honey. Really? Mm. I'm not cooking anymore. Yeah, that's true because you don't like cooking a lot. I like cooking a no, lot. No, you love eating way no, more no, no, than you like two... cooking. Okay, I think the potatoes are almost done. Where are the... The what? The things what you put on over your hand to oven gloves. Is it left or right? There we go. Drain them and get rid of all the water and then we can start making mashed potatoes. Water! Ow! It's too hot. You get a dollar. No, 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 you don't you don't you don't take the milk. Honey, uh, you said that I'm going to make oh, no, the no, mashed then, potatoes. Oh no, no, then you don't do it. Then you don't do it. <laughs> You don't do it. At first you add butter. I don't do it this because way. Because milk is cold and butter needs to warm up. What is this? I think it's very good. Yeah, except of you putting everything outside. <laughs> except of you, you are not good. <laughs> You're not a good masher. <laughs> can I add some milk? Yes, you can. Yes. Yes, you can! What I love is not to use milk, but the rest of the cream. Now we add salt. Yep. And salt you need a lot. A lot of salt. Where's the salt here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. I a, love you. A yerk or a jerk? Mm -hmm. What a you just said? A yerk, right? You're such a yerk sometimes. No, 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 not, not more sour. So, because it can be too salty. If you peel the eggs, you have to put them into the sauce. <laughs> okay, the next thing is <laughs> to cover the eggs with the sauce so that they stay warm in the sauce. So, now we serve. And the onions? <gasps> the onion! Now we add the onions. <laughs> Literally, it's a lot of onions. Uh, it's like, perfect. He just loves it. This looks like a hot mess, honey. Well, he loves to make a mess in the kitchen, so that's fine. It's just good that it's not our kitchen. <laughs> a mess? Is it just if there's something next to it? Stop it! I just cleaned it off! And now, the most important thing that it looks perfect, just put it on here, <laughs> is to... Wait, 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 wait! Why am I doing this with you? The best, Why? the best thing is 
when you cut the eggs in halves. And like Batman always says, Peng Pao, zack zack. You need parsley to decorate it. We don't have it here because I don't decorate, I just want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> The eggs are perfect and the sauce is perfect too. It's really nice. I would have loved the sauce to be a little bit more liquidy, but it's all right. It's fine because it's your recipe. So you want to have it that way. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy watching us how, how we made this whole recipe for you guys. And actually it is the last recipe here in this kitchen. And if you want to know where we are going next, then stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Maybe you can put in the comments below where you think we're going. Thanks for watching. We hope you did enjoy it and yeah, if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to see more videos coming up every Monday. And then we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. Bye! Bye.